What's going on YouTube, GSNOW8 here, so in today's video we're going to discuss about a very interesting project which is pretty much a Safari based jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 and lower that is currently being developed. So this video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their program Rayboot which helps you fix iOS errors, put your phone in recovery mode and fix your phone if it's typed on a black screen, Apple logo and so on. Check them out in the link below. So yeah, the reason I started making this video is because of this post in here made by Yalu Jailbreak, which is, don't get me wrong, it's not a reliable source for jailbreak information, but somebody tagged me in this and asked me if it's legit, so I had a look on it and it does look okay. So it's jailbreak me for 7.1 to 7.1.2, 9.1 to 9.3.4 on 32-bit, and apparently 11.3.1 for the moment on iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. And it's been created by Sam Voidlander, I think it's pronounced. Man, that's something hard to pronounce. Anyways, yes, if you take a look in here at the project, the project does look okay. Initially, I was skeptical about this project because I wasn't aware that there are vulnerabilities for 11.3.1 at WebKit level, but yes, they are and are publicly available, at least for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus for the moment. So this is pretty much the project page and this is pretty much the author of it, although you wouldn't tell from the name. If you take a look in here, the project itself is very well made and I had actually talked with this guy before, though he had a different name on Twitter at that point. So that's why it didn't strike me initially who he is. But anyways, I know him and he is definitely a legit developer. Now, as you can see in here, the project is based around the vulnerabilities in WebKit, which means that this jailbreak would pretty much be doable from Safari. You go to a website, in this case it's racecondition.win, you press a button and if you're running a compatible version, you will be jailbroken without having to involve CD Impactor or IPA files or Twigbox or App Valley or Ignition and so on. So it's not untethered, but it's the next best thing because you can do that directly from Safari without having to worry about signing every so often. So definitely good. But if you take a look in here, it's a very, very ambitious project. It supports quite a lot of iOS versions, both on 64-bit and 32-bit, and that requires a lot of repositories in here of files and so on. Now, if you take a look here in payloads, and this is pretty much the most important part, and go to 11.3.1, and of course you go in here, you have the empty list. So it's based on empty list and I know why and I'm going to explain in a few seconds, but being based on empty list, it doesn't have a very good success rate for the moment. Because if you remember, empty list has been made by Jan Beer. He made two exploits, the MPTCP one, which is stable as hell, and the empty list for 11.3.x, which works, but it's not as stable. It reboots quite a lot before you get it right. Anyways, going ahead in here on the uh, modules, you can see that there is a file called libsploit.ios 11.3.1 module. And this is where the magic happens for the 11.3.1. Yes, it's pure JavaScript. Now, it is based on the bug CVE 2018-4233. It was a real bug on the Safari. And if you take a look in here, it's pretty much detailed by this guy in here. And I have all the information. Then I realized he's using the version by Niklas, which is pretty much a combination between CVE 2018-4233 4233 in order to get RCE or remote code execution on Safari and then he uses the um, second stage which is pretty much the VFS exploit by Jan Beer to exploit a kernel so it's pretty much a combination between the two and yes the exploit in here looks legit I have taken a look in here and it's quite okay now don't get me wrong the project is nowhere near complete and I wouldn't recommend it to go ahead and use this website right now even though for the moment it's compatible only with iPhone 8 and 8 plus on 11.3.1 however However, it's a very, very interesting project and it's not one of those skiddy jailbreaks that somebody starts and never finishes and whatever, it's just a bunch of files taken from whatever. No, it seems to be a very good project, it seems to be worked on and it seems to be updated quite frequently. You can see nine days ago there have been um, modifications to the modules in here. So yeah, I think it's a good project. In the future we might have Safari being able to jailbreak the 11.3.1, pretty much remove Removing the need for an IPA or for CD Impactor or for all these signing services that are not very trustworthy sometimes. And yeah, you got the idea. So although it's not a complete project for the moment, it looks legit, at least for me, as far as I can tell and it might have a chance to actually work, so definitely an interesting project. If you remember, something similar has been created for the 10.3.3 and lower, this one here, although it doesn't work on the computer and shows this in here, it's pretty much a Safari-based 
exploit and jailbreak for the iOS 10.3.3 and lower on 64-bit and it's called totally not spyware.lol. It's been released like a month ago, but it works quite well. So if we have something similar for the iOS 11.x, I'm pretty glad that somebody took it to pretty much try to build a jailbreak on top of it. And this is not only a jailbreak, this combines a lot of exploits and jailbreak payloads for different iOS versions and different devices. So yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of work, but Sam seems to be up for the task. So, yes, if you were wondering if this um, race condition.win is legitimate, it seems to be so, though it still requires quite a lot of work before reaching mainstream. Anyways, if you come across it, yes, it seems legitimate for the moment, at least from what I can say. Thank you for watching, guys. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare. They currently have a contest where you can win the new iPhone XR. All you have to do is to navigate to this page, the link is in the description down below, and choose which iPhone do you like from the new iPhones presented this year, and you can win the new iPhone 10R if you're lucky and you can check the rules of the contest in here. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out!